6월 19일 쉬운 영어로 맥체인 성경통독 오늘 말씀은 신명기 24장 10편 114편 115편 이사야서 51장 게시록 21장 말씀입니다. 주 19th Deuteronomy chapter 24 Suppose a man marries a woman but later he decides he doesn't like her He finds something shameful about her. So he gives her a letter of divorce and sends her away from his house. Then after she leaves his house she becomes another man's wife. But her second husband doesn't like her either. So he gives her a letter of divorce and sends her away from his house. Or perhaps he dies. Then her first husband isn't allowed to marry her again. The Lord would hate that. When her first husband divorced her, she became unclean. Don't bring sin on the land the Lord your God is giving you as your own. Suppose a man has just married his wife. Then don't send him into battle. Don't give him any other duty either. He's free to stay home for one year. He needs time to make his new wife happy. Someone might borrow money from you and give you two millstones to keep until you are paid back. Don't keep them. Don't even keep the upper one. That person needs both millstones to make a living. Suppose someone is caught kidnapping another Israelite. And they sell or treat that person as a slave. Then the kidnapper must die. Get rid of that evil person. What about skin diseases? Be very careful to do exactly what the priests, who are Levites, tell you to do. You must be careful to obey the commands I've given them. Remember what the Lord your God did to Miriam on your way out of Egypt. Suppose your neighbor borrows something from you. And he offers you something to keep until you get paid back. Then don't go into their house to get it. Stay outside. Let the neighbor bring it out to you. The neighbor might be poor. You might be given their coat to keep until you get paid back. Don't go to sleep while you still have it. Return it before the sun goes down. They need it to sleep in and will thank you for returning it. The Lord your God will see it and know that you have done the right thing. Don't take advantage of any hired worker who is poor and needy. That applies to your own people. It also applies to outsiders living in one of your towns. Give them their pay every day. They are poor and are counting on it. If you don't pay them, they might cry out to the Lord against you. Then you will be guilty of committing a sin. Parents must not be put to death because of what their children do. And children must not be put to death because of what their parents do. People must die because of their own sins. Do what is right and fair for outsiders and for children whose fathers have died. Suppose a widow borrows something from you. And she offers to give you her coat until she pays you back. Don't take it. Remember that you were slaves in Egypt. Remember that the Lord your God set you free from there. That's why I'm commanding you to do those things. When you are gathering crops in your field, you might leave some grain behind by mistake. Don't go back to get it. Leave it behind for outsiders and widows. Leave it for children whose fathers have died. Then the Lord your God will bless you in everything you do. When you knock olives off your trees, don't go back over the branches a second time. Leave what remains for outsiders and widows. Leave it for children whose fathers have died. When you pick grapes in your vineyard, don't go back over the vines a second time. Leave what remains for outsiders and widows. Leave it for children whose fathers have died. Remember that you were slaves in Egypt. That's why I'm commanding you to do these things. Psalms 114, 115 Psalms 114 The people of Israel came out of Egypt. 
The people of Jacob left the land where a different language was spoken. Then Judah became the holy place where God lived. Israel became the land he ruled over. The Red Sea saw him and parted. The Jordan River stopped flowing. The mountains leapt like rams. The hills skipped like lambs. Red Sea, why did you part? Jordan River, why did you stop flowing? Why did you mountains leap like rams? Why did you hills skip like lambs? Earth, tremble with fear when the Lord comes. Tremble when the God of Jacob is near. He turned the rock into a pool. He turned the hard rock into springs of water. Psalms 115 Lord, may glory be given to you, not to us. You are loving and faithful. Why do the nations ask, where is their God? Our God is in heaven. He does anything he wants to do. But the statues of their gods are made out of silver and gold. They are made by human hands. They have mouths but can't speak. They have eyes but can't see. They have ears but can't hear. They have noses but can't smell. They have hands but can't feel. They have feet but can't walk. They have throats but can't say anything. Those who make statues of gods will be like them. So will all those who trust in them. All you Israelites, trust in the Lord. He helps you like a shield that keeps you safe. Priests of Aaron, trust in the Lord. He helps you like a shield that keeps you safe. You who have respect for the Lord, trust in him. He helps you like a shield that keeps you safe. The Lord remembers us and will bless us. He will bless Israel, his people. He will bless the priests of Aaron. The Lord will bless those who have respect for him. He will bless important and unimportant people alike. May the Lord give you many children. May he give them to you and to your children after you. May the Lord bless you. He is the maker of heaven and earth. The highest heavens belong to the Lord. But he has given the earth to human beings. Dead people don't praise the Lord. Those who lie quietly in the grave don't praise him. But we who are alive praise the Lord, both now and forever. Praise the Lord. Isaiah chapter 51. The Lord says, Listen to me, you who want to do what is right. Pay attention, you who look to me. Consider the rock you were cut out of. Think about the rock pit you were dug from. Consider Abraham. He is the father of your people. Think about Sarah. She is your mother. When I chose Abraham, he did not have any children. But I blessed him and gave him many of them. You can be sure that I will comfort Zion's people. I will look with loving concern on all their destroyed buildings. I will make their deserts like Eden. I will make their dry and empty land like the garden of the Lord. Joy and gladness will be there. People will sing and give thanks to me. Listen to me, my people. Pay attention, my nation. My instruction will go out to the nations. I make everything right. That will be a guiding light for them. The time for me to set you free is near. I will soon save you. My powerful arm will make everything right among the nations. The islands will put their hope in me. They will wait for my powerful arm to act. Look up toward the heavens. Then look at the earth. The heavens will vanish like smoke. The earth will wear out like clothes. Those who live there will die like flies. But I will save you forever. My saving power will never end. Listen to me, you who know what is right. Pay attention, you who have taken my instruction to heart. Do not be afraid when mere human beings make fun of you. Do not be terrified when they laugh at you. They will be like clothes that moths have eaten up. 
They will be like wool that worms have chewed up. But my saving power will last forever. I will save you for all time to come. Wake up, arm of the Lord. Wake up. Dress yourself with strength as if it were your clothes. Wake up, just as you did in the past. Wake up, as you did long ago. Didn't you cut Rahab to pieces? Didn't you stab that sea monster to death? Didn't you dry up the Red Sea? Didn't you dry up those deep waters? You made a road on the bottom of that sea. Then those who were set free went across. Those the Lord has saved will return to their land. They will sing as they enter the city of Zion. Joy that lasts forever will be like beautiful crowns on their heads. They will be filled with gladness and joy. Sorrow and sighing will be gone. The Lord says to his people, I comfort you because of who I am. Why are you afraid of mere human beings? They are like grass that dries up. How can you forget me? I made you. I stretch out the heavens. I lay the foundations of the earth. Why are you terrified every day? Is it because those who are angry with you are crushing you? Is it because they are trying to destroy you? Their anger can't harm you anymore. You prisoners who are so afraid will soon be set free. You will not die in your prison cells. You will not go without food. I am the Lord your God. I stir up the ocean. I make its waves roar. My name is the Lord who rules over all. I have put my words in your mouth. I have kept you safe in the palm of my hand. I set the heavens in place. I laid the foundations of the earth. I say to Zion, you are my people, wake up, Jerusalem. Wake up. Get up. The Lord has handed you the cup of his great anger. And you have drunk from it. That cup makes people unsteady on their feet. And you have drunk from it to the very last drop. Among all the children who were born to you there was none to guide you. Among all the children you brought up there was none to lead you by the hand. Nothing but trouble has come to you. You have been wiped out and destroyed. And you have suffered hunger and war. No one feels sorry for you. No one can comfort you. Your children have fainted. They lie helpless at every street corner. They are like antelope that have been caught in a net. They have felt the full force of the Lord's great anger. Jerusalem, your God had to warn them strongly. So listen to me, you suffering people of Jerusalem. You have been made drunk, but not by drinking wine. Your Lord and King speaks. He is your God. He stands up for his people. He says, I have taken from you the cup of my great anger. It made you unsteady on your feet. But you will never drink from that cup again. Instead, I will give it to those who made you suffer. They said to you, fall down flat on the ground. Then we can walk all over you. And that is exactly what you did. You made your back like a street to be walked on. Revelation chapter 21. I saw, a new heaven and a new earth. Isaiah chapter 65 verse 17, the first heaven and the first earth were completely gone. There was no longer any sea. I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem. It was coming down out of heaven from God. It was prepared like a bride beautifully dressed for her husband. I heard a loud voice from the throne. It said, Look. God now makes his home with the people. He will live with them. They will be his people. And God himself will be with them and be their God. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death. Isaiah chapter 25 verse 8, And there will be no more sadness. There will be no more crying or pain. Things are no longer the way they used to be. He who was sitting on the throne said, I am making everything new. Then he said, 
Write this down. You can trust these words. They are true. He said to me, it is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give water to anyone who is thirsty. The water will come from the spring of the water of life. It doesn't cost anything. Those who have victory will receive all this from me. I will be their God, and they will be my children. But others will be thrown into the lake of fire that burns with sulfur. Those who are afraid and those who do not believe will be there. Murderers and those who make themselves impure will join them. Those who commit sexual sins and those who practice witchcraft will go there. Those who worship statues of gods and all who tell lies will be there too. The lake of fire is the second death. One of the seven angels who had the seven bowls came and spoke to me. The bowls were filled with the seven last plagues. The angel said, Come. I will show you the bride, the wife of the Lamb. Then he carried me away in a vision. The Spirit took me to a huge, high mountain. He showed me Jerusalem, the holy city. It was coming down out of heaven from God. It shone with the glory of God. It gleamed like a very valuable jewel. It was like a jasper, as clear as crystal. The city had a huge, high wall with twelve gates. Twelve angels were at the gates, one at each of them. On the gates were written the names of the twelve tribes of Israel. There were three gates on the east and three on the north. There were three gates on the south and three on the west. The wall of the city had twelve foundations. Written on them were the names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. The angel who talked with me had a gold measuring rod. He used it to measure the city, its gates and its walls. The city was laid out like a square. It was as long as it was wide. The angel measured the city with the rod. It was 1,400 miles long. It was as wide and high as it was long. The angel measured the wall as human beings measure things. It was 200 feet thick. The wall was made out of jasper. The city was made out of pure gold, as pure as glass. The foundations of the city walls were decorated with every kind of jewel. The first foundation was made out of jasper. The second was made out of sapphire. The third was made out of agate. The fourth was made out of emerald. The fifth was made out of onyx. The sixth was made out of ruby. The seventh was made out of chrysolite. The eighth was made out of beryl. The ninth was made out of topaz. The tenth was made out of turquoise. The eleventh was made out of jacinth. The twelfth was made out of amethyst. The twelve gates were made from twelve pearls. Each gate was made out of a single pearl. The main street of the city was made out of gold. It was gold as pure as glass that people can see through clearly. I didn't see a temple in the city. That's because the Lamb and the Lord God who rules over all are its temple. The city does not need the sun or moon to shine on it. God's glory is its light, and the Lamb is its lamp. The nations will walk by the light of the city. The kings of the world will bring their glory into it. Its gates will never be shut, because there will be no night there. The glory and honor of the nations will be brought into it. Only what is pure will enter the city. No one who causes people to believe lies will enter it. No one who does shameful things will enter it either. Only those whose names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life will enter the city.